have all Can this stuff for you to do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm so, sorry, you know, it. over the last few weeks, yes. there have been um, some restaurants that have been, you know, kind of like getting trash for their nachos. They're fine blue, had bad you nachos. Know I was have at you the seen opening, that? But you know what? They no, should have had me do the over the top nachos. I was at the opening. The rest of the food is amazing at the place, but those nachos, <laughs> no good. Okay, wait, so no I have good. a question. No good. Those nachos with an empty plate. No, right. Now, should nachos even be on the menu at a five-star restaurant? Of course. Depends what you put on those nachos. I've always right. wanted to do the biggest over-the-top nachos. Caviar, truffle. Ah. Put them on fire. Bring them out. <laughs> Fountain Blue Vegas, Jeff Sofer, give me a call because I'm going to make those. Even the ones they did aren't that good. I'm sorry. Well, they got to take them better. Right. Now, apparently, other hotels were like, hey, we upped our nachos. Come over here. <laughs> okay. Well, I I'm for hire if you want to take it to the next step because I could really take I a, love take it. And they were $24. And they took an hour to come By the way, out. water in Vegas is 50 so that's not expensive for nachos. They're just so the missing. price was fine. The price was fine. Just 20, missing. By the way, $24 for nachos these days is not a lot. I mean, they are like $16, $17 in a regular place. You got to add the 30 percent taxes, the gratuity, the this, the this tag, the this, the that. They add so much stuff on in Vegas and it was still only 24, so it's not <laughs> that bad of a deal. I